everyone. It's Saturday. I'm in the middle of Glasgow and we're going to see Lady Antebellum later tonight. But there's just one thing I need to do before I go and meet up with Lily. I didn't bring any makeup with me and I'm getting my picture taken later. So I think it's time to go to the galleries and go shopping. I don't think we've ever had a proper look around Glasgow on this vlog. So if I just come up here, I'll just show you the view down Buchanan Street here. Buchanan Street is right in the middle of Glasgow, lots of shops here. So if I just go up these steps, look at that. It's just a street of shops that just goes on and on and on, and they're all really great here. So the Buchanan Galleries is my first stop whenever I'm going shopping, to be honest. So I should be able to find somewhere to pick up some makeup in there. I haven't been on the subway in Glasgow in 10 years and even then just before that I've only been on one so this is interesting. I usually just take the train. Okay so I'm at the subway, I'm walking along the road and this is usually the point where I get into trouble with Lily because you see I don't like to check directions, I like to just start walking and hope that I'm going in the right direction. I'm not very good with maps. And I seem to have an instinct for going the wrong way. Okay, I've just made it a little bit down the street and as predicted, I went the wrong way. So it's time to head back to the station and now Lily's on the lookout for me because she knows I'm lost in the general area somewhere. <laughs> okay folks, panic over. I can see the hotel now. It's that big Ibis Bud just one over there. I've never really, really been in this part of town before so do excuse me because this is not the way I would have came. I would never have thought to come this way, but that's okay because I've got Lily who knows where she's going and looks up directions before she leaves the house, unlike me. So we should see her in a minute or two. Lily just called me. She was walking back the way that I just came to try and find me and somehow I've managed to miss her. So I've now been told to stand here and not move anywhere because I'll be in big trouble if I get lost again. <laughs> I found! I have friends! I found! Yay! We found them! Oh, I found them. Oh, no, they found me, to be more exact. <laughs> you know, I think saying that I found them is maybe a bit taking too much credit. Oh, so we do come down here. Are you sure we're not staying in a car park, Lily? Um, actually, you see, for you we booked a trailer and Sandy and I are uh, staying in the hotel room. Okay. Um, we'll maybe have to discuss those arrangements later. <laughs> but um, those can be negotiated, I suppose. Be careful. Do not slip on that banana peel. <laughs> We're getting ready to go. We've got extensions in the makeup. Because we managed to get some. And Sandy is wearing his kilt. He looks good. He looks good. He looks good. He, he looks good. <laughs> you look good. You look good. <laughs> There's like not at all a theme going on here. It's 4.30. We're going to head down to the venue because we have meet and greet passes to pick up. And then food. I'm going for food. You, do, you two don't have to go for food, but I'm going for food. Food's always good. I have to leave my camera here. So from now on, it's either going to be no footage or phone footage. Ooh. <laughs> Would you go for a thumbnail while we're all here? Or intrigued? Surprised? <laughs> okay, it's time to go now. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, bye. was some night. That was amazing. I'd like to thank Lily for all the glow sticks. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. I, I don't know why I said that as though she wasn't here. She is here. She is just busy at the moment. So yes, Lily provided glow sticks and just general fun things. Her and Sandy went to a meet and greet with um, 
Lady Antebellum, and a lovely girl we met called Miranda. I was going to call her Matilda there, but that's not her name, Miranda. And um, we met somebody called Caitlin who took my wristband. It wasn't that I didn't want to go to the meet and greet, but I, you know, it was kind of conflicting with Brett Young's set, and I really, really love Brett Young's music, so I just wanted to be there just listening to it, so I had to miss it. But um, yeah, no regrets. It was he was really good. So was Kelsey, and we've came back with a couple of souvenirs from the show. I'm sure Lily is going to tell you more about the show and the meet and greet experience in her vlog, Thank which you. will be coming. A direct link, right? Yes, there will be a link to to Lily's vlog when she sticks it up there. But to give you a bit of a preview of what happened during the show, um, we were just kind of singing and dancing. We had signs and things, of course. Had a great time, and um, we were sitting in the front row, so at the end of the show, the drummer gave us each one of his drumsticks, and we have guitar picks as well. Is that going to focus? Just has Heartbreak there, and the three, three members of Lady Antebellum, and then on the back, You Look Good World Tour 2017. <coughs> I don't know if they've done these in the past, because I've never had one, but that was a really nice souvenir of the night. So that was fun. We also got interviewed by um, who we assume works for Lady Antebellum. He really could have just been anybody, to be honest. We didn't ask. <laughs> we showed him our signs and told him stories of how we, how we first discovered Lady Antebellum and things. And then during the show, he filmed us dancing a few times. So we might see that somewhere. We were also on the fan cam. Um, who knew Glasgow had a fan cam? I think we maybe saw it in... When we last went there, I have no idea. Maybe I'm just making that up. But yeah, fan cams. There was lots of fun things going on. I was just saying the last time I was in a bunk bed like this, in an Ibis hotel, that was the night that we got woken up at something ridiculous, like, was it four o'clock in the morning? Yeah, four o'clock in the morning, our hotel got evacuated because somebody was using hairspray too close to the sensor. If that happens again, I promise to take the vlogging camera with me. <laughs> Or maybe just stay in bed. I don't know. But this is what my bed looks like at the moment. It's full of the treats that Lily's gave me. Um, the glow sticks, the drumstick. Glow sticks, drumsticks. Like, all the sticks are in my bed right now. <laughs> That's so wrong. That's so, many. so many sticks. <laughs> so many sticks in my bed right now. <laughs> so I'm going to rip sticks and leave. Um, okay. I think it's time for me to go to bed. It's the next morning, and this is our view out the window, which I usually cover. Oh, hi, Yorgo, say mass. What Lily said. What was that? Was that Japanese? Hi. Hmm? Hi. Hi. Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, um, yeah, Lily knows too many languages. Or maybe I don't know enough. We haven't quite figured that out yet. So, um, yeah, we're just packing up and leaving the hotel, and then we're going for breakfast, and then we might go and stop by a wedding shop. Ooh! Yeah, we're excited about this. Sandy's just like, meh! <laughs> yeah, we're trying to find a dress for him. Yeah. It, yep. it could and it's look beautiful, okay? It could take a while. Wow, that was mean, sorry! <laughs> <laughs> I meant it could take a while to find a dress. I had that line ready before you said, I need to look beautiful. <laughs> I have a fact for you two. Okay, I can see the River Clyde out the window there. Did you know there was once 39 shipyards on the River Clyde? Really? Yeah. Every time. There's some tough decisions going on in here. We're all pondering the menu. I think I'm going to go for a slick dog with, of course, fries, onion rings and coleslaw. Because I didn't have any breakfast, you see. So this, the steaks are high here. This is um, Ed's, the American diner. Look at this. It's all 50s inspired. There are people in here, but obviously I'm not wanting to film them too much because that's a bit mean. Um, yeah, and they've got like the jukeboxes and things. So really cool. And this is just in the middle of a shopping centre. This looks amazing, balls. We've got, um, I think this was a slick dog, like bacon and cheese and barbecue sauce maybe in there. Onion rings. 
I went for regular fries because my hot dog is so weird. And coleslaw. We've just been shopping. We had a nice breakfast at Ed's Diner and now we're going back for dessert. Lily is a genius. She's the one who thought this up. Yeah, we've, um, we've just been to a dress shop and now we're going back to Ed's Diner. It's like one hour later. <laughs> Cutaways. <laughs> this is a sneak peek of Lily's Builder Bear. Don't let her know that I showed you it because I think she wanted to have a big world premiere coming out party, but um, yeah, here it is. It's in there somewhere. But it's a surprise, it's a secret bear. We've actually managed to fit a lot in this weekend, haven't we? We've been to like a concert, we've had American diner food, we got a dress, we got bears, we you know, it's just everything, isn't it? You know, it's like a good classic catch-up. But unfortunately it's time for it to end because it's almost time for the weekend to end. So, to the train station. It's time to say goodbye. We've had a great weekend though. We've made memories, probably some that we want to remember, some that we want to forget, but yeah, it's been good, it's been good. So we're all heading home now, check out the end screen for links to Lily's video and other videos, subscribe, that'd be awesome, do what you want to do, put your comments down below, and thank you so much for watching everybody, cheerio, bye! bye. <laughs> Lily's just seen a dog that's making her laugh here. It looks like a ferret. <laughs> the dash ferret. I love the way it's going up and down in the queue. <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs>